What's going on, Ohio State fans? This is Jen 716 back here again, and today we're going to talk about the top five breakout players for the Ohio State Buckeyes for the 2020 season. Again, uh, just like I said in the previous videos before, a lot of these players are, you know, Ohio State fans locally, you know, again, locally, um, they know them. Um, they know that they've had some pretty good contributions to their team, but either they just haven't made that much noise, they haven't really impressed a lot of people, or they just had little to no contribution to their team at all. And who knows, this year, they can def I believe that these guys can definitely take the next step and, and have that nice contribution, that nice role to add to their football team to the 2020 season. So going to talk about five players who I think will have a huge breakout season, and um, hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. So we're going to begin with the number one player, and that's Garrett Wilson. Now, a lot of people know, if they can remember Garrett Wilson, he made that spectacular catch against Clemson. That's just for all the casual fans out there that don't know who Garrett Wilson is. He's a former five-star uh receiver. I believe he came from Allen um, in Texas. Um, but yeah, former five-star receiver. Had a pretty good freshman year, right? Had 30 receptions, 432 yards, right? Had around five touchdowns. I was about to say four, so I had to check, but had five touchdowns. Most importantly, though, averaged 14.2 yards per catch. Um, so yeah, Garrett Wilson was a really, was a really, really nice um, contributor to the Ohio State Buckeyes next year. Now, can he take that next up and be the starter? Um, it could be. Um, right. Uh, Ohio State has a lot of weapons, especially guys like with Olave back there. Um, so, right. They did lose KJ Hill. Right. KJ Hill's gone. But who knows? You know, Garrett Wilson's is a guy that can definitely have a nice contribution. Now, again, can he play out wide or, you know, can, can you put him in the slot and he can do his own thing? That's something that we're going to have to find out about. Now, I will say the thing for Garrett Wilson is that there's a lot of com there's a lot of competition, um, especially with the upcoming uh 20, uh, 2020 recruiting class, guys like Julian Fleming and um, um, Jackson um, Jackson Smith and Jabe that are coming in. And these guys were five-star receivers. And again, these guys are not going to be backup players. They're going to come in and they want to contribute right away. So, But Garrett Wilson's a guy that has a lot of athletic ability. He can go up and get the catches, but most importantly, his speed. Ohio State has a ton of speed. Garrett Wilson has the speed to play alongside anybody. Um, so Garrett Wilson's a guy that I definitely can see having, uh, I can definitely see having a breakout year. I think the thing about him that he has to worry about is just the competition, but either, either the competition is just going to break him or it's going to make him become the player that a lot of Ohio state fans expected him to be. And that was to become a really, really nice contributor and a great player for the Ohio state Buckeyes. My number two player is Nicholas Piet Pierre, former five-star tackle from the 2019, I'm sorry, the 2018 recruiting class. Um, he's a guy that was a redshirt freshman last year. He's going to be a redshirt sophomore. It's time for him to step up, right? Ohio State loses a couple of uh, starters from their offensive line. They got three starters that are projected All-American players, according to Athlon Sports. Piet Pair is a guy that I believe, um, I think one of those positions that they're missing, it is the right tackle position. I think that Nicholas Piet, again, Ohio State fans, if I'm wrong about that, correct me on it. But I think the right tackle position, that's one of the positions that they're missing, and they need a guy to fill it. Nicholas Piet Pierre, this is what a lot of Ohio State fans did. They want him to be. Uh, they wanted him to be a starter along this offensive line. He has all the athletic ability. He was he was raw coming out of high school, even though all he had everything was there, maybe besides maybe more experience in the offensive line or maybe lack of competition for him. Um, but again, he's had two he's had two years to wait. This year, I expect Nicholas Piet uh, Piet Pierre to finally become a starter on that offensive line and have a nice uh, contributing role to the Ohio State Buckeyes. Number three player is Zach Harrison. Now, we talk about the defensive line for Ohio State, right? Chase Young, the Bosa brothers, right? That The, the, the defensive line has become nasty, uh, full of five-star recruits, full of just absolute monsters going on to the next level. Um, Zach Harrison could be next in line, right? Former five-star from the 2019 recruiting class. I mean, talking about a player that actually was a, he was more of a rotational player last year with, with that deep Ohio State recruiting class, right? Uh, just looking at his stats here, uh, he had 24 tackles, three and a half sacks. I mean, so yeah, this is a guy that had a, that played a nice contribution to the team uh, last season. Could Zach Harrison be that guy? It could be. It could definitely be, right? Remember, uh, you look at a guy like Chase Young who sat behind Nick Bosa um, he sat behind Nick Bosa for like a year and a half, and then finally he got his opportunity after Nick Bosa uh, left the team, and he shined out. Um, so it, it could be the same with Zach Harrison. As far as him, 
that sophomore year after having a nice freshman year getting bigger stronger getting more getting smarter learning the playbook more or, or finally getting accustomed to the playbook there um and, and finally adjusting to the to the college game we could see Zach Harrison, the next five-star Ohio State defensive end, have a breakout year. So I like Zach Harrison. He's definitely a candidate on my list right there. So watch out for him. Um, I was going to say Master Teague as a breakout player, but unfortunately for him, he had an injury um, that ended his season. I think he had like a torn ACL or a foot. Again, I don't really know the extent of the injury. Um, but I'll put Trey Sermon there. Um, even though a lot of people know who Trey Sermon is, um, Trey Sermon did transfer from transfer from the University of Oklahoma. Now, I don't know why he transferred to the University of Oklahoma. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I don't know why he transferred there. You guys can let me know if you guys know about that. But Trey Sermon, he's expected at this point to be the starting running back for Ohio State. He's going to be running behind a really good offensive line. If not, maybe one of the top three, top five best offensive line in the nation. He's got the skilled players around him for Trey Sermon to definitely make his game uh, a, a lot better than what it was. Um, so Trey Sermon's a guy that will watch out for now. Um, he was also hurt last year. That's why maybe he was worried about that, honestly, because Kennedy Brooks was stepping up there. He he did his thing. Stevenson did his thing. So maybe that's the reason why was that maybe it was just too much competition that maybe they were worried that his job was, was taken away. Um, but yeah, Trey Sermon's a guy that I believe is going to have a breakout year. Now, is he going to have a J.K. Dobbins, Ezekiel Elliott year? No, I don't think he's going to have that. But can I see a 1,000, 1,200-yard season for Trey Sermon? I can definitely see if he's healthy. Because, again, he is a former uh, borderline five-star talent. He's a guy that's had a nice contribution to the Oklahoma Sooners for three years. And just taking a look at his stats, he's had over 2,000 rushing yards in his entire career when he was at the University of Oklahoma. So this is not a scrub player at all. This is a player that's used to playing uh, for good teams. And uh, he used to play against uh, really good competition. So Trey Sermon, I'm going to have you as a breakout player this year. Um, so hopefully he can have a breakout year and he can get drafted maybe as a second, third round pick or maybe first round. Who knows? Maybe he can get first round there. And I believe is that it is that it. Yes, yes, that's actually it. Um, yeah, that's actually pretty it for the breakout players. Um, I'm trying to think. Can I name one of them? I don't believe I know. I, I know. I think that these are the breakout players here. So Ohio State fans, because I'm, I'm a little blanked out here. So let me know. Who do you guys think is going to be a breakout player for you guys? You guys definitely know your team better than I do. So let me know who you guys think will be a breakout player. And again, we can definitely hash this out and talk about this in the comment section below. So anyway, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, if you guys want more content from me, definitely make sure to hit the like buttons, you know, subscribe, hit the notification bell, definitely to stay in tune with me. Um, I know a lot of people are subscribed and they don't get my videos popped up. I think a big reason why because they don't hit, is because the notification bell. Again, YouTube system is kind of just messed up. Um, so just make sure to press the notification bell for more content. Anyway, guys, this is Jen Someone 6. Stay safe. Peace.